Hello there, and welcome to this video on anticholinergic agents. This class of drugs blocks the parasympathetic system's response to acetylcholine. This can be really important in a variety of patients, including those with bradycardia, respiratory distress, Parkinsonism, gastrointestinal, genitourinary, and many other disorders. This video is going to break down anticholinergic agents into three sections. First, we're going to go over what are the actions of anticholinergic agents. Next, we'll cover the types and we'll finish it all off with some side effects. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now, the point of using an anticholinergic agent differs depending on the symptoms or disorders you're treating. In general, an anticholinergic agent blocks the parasympathetic impulses in the body, increasing conduction of the heart by blocking the vagus nerve, decreasing mucosal, gastrointestinal, and genital urinary production. Basically, it dries the body up, makes the heart beat faster, and starts a fight or flight or sympathetic response by removing the antagonist or parasympathetic response. You can see how there are a wide variety of effects that anticholinergic agents have, which is why they are broken up into three basic types, which is in our next section. Now, to get into the types of anticholinergic agents. These drugs are based off of what location in the body they affect. First, we have anti-muscarinic agents, a common one being atropine, which block the muscarinic response of the parasympathetic system in particular. Next, we have anti-nicotonic agents. These block the effects of nicotine, aka a postganglionic blocker. Lastly, we have the neuromuscular blockers, which basically block the connection between the nerve and muscle. You can see how this wide variety of effects can be beneficial, but what about the side effects? Well, anticholinergic agents have a long list of side effects associated. But if you think about the actions of this class of drug, you can see how some of it might be adverse as well. Some of the more common side effects we can see have a mnemonic to help you remember them. The list goes something like this. Blind is a bat for dilated pupils. Red is a beet for flushed skin. Hot is a hair for hyperthermia. Dry is a bone for dry skin or dry mucous membranes. Mad is a hatter for hallucinations. Bloated is a toad for urinary retention. And the heart runs alone for tachycardia. Re recap. To recap, this video got into anticholinergic agents in three major sections. First off, we talked about how these agents block the parasympathetic response of the body. Then we told you the three types. We had anti-muscarinic, anti-nicotonic, and neuromuscular blockers. And lastly, we went over a fun mnemonic to show some of the major side effects. Alright everyone, that concludes this video on anticholinergic agents. If you found it informative and you want to see some more, Follow the links below for more awesome and easy to follow videos on pharmacology. And I'll see you there.